Uh-huh. No. Sometimes when a black guy is put in a position of authority, other black guys, they like to single you out. Okay, because I'm not supposed to tell them what to do. When we have these conversations, we do them in stages, okay? Stage one, witnesses. Stage two, suspects. What stage are we in? You don't know what stage we're in? No, could you specify for me? Yeah, we're in stage two. And that is a scene from the new movie Detroit, a film from Oscar-winning director Catherine Bigelow. It looks at the riots that erupted in the city back in 1967. And here with us this morning is Joseph David Jones. Thank you so much for being here. You were part of a very big cast, right? That yes. includes John Boyega and Anthony Mackie. Yes. Amazing people to work with. Welcome. <laughs> thank you so much for being here. Oh, no, thank you so much for having me. Yeah. So give us a little more background about the, sh the film. Okay. Okay, the film is about the Great Rebellion that happened in Detroit in 1967, and it's in the midst of the Civil Rights Movement, and this story in particular focuses on one of the most horrific events to come out of that, which is the event at the Algiers Motel. Mm -hmm. And it's funny because we previewed it yesterday with one of our uh, Made in Hollywood contributors, and some right. of the actors were saying that they hadn't even really heard much about this, that, you know, yeah. it's kind of... It's crazy with something like this in the midst of all the chaos, these, these sort of horrific stories, they get swept under the rug yeah. and, and, and history tends to forget them. So it's so great that like Catherine has brought light to this story and brought it to an audience that, that they can see and experience it. Mm -hmm. And you mentioned Catherine. Of course, we're talking about Catherine Bigelow, Catherine Bigelow. Uh, one of the most prominent directors right now. Hurt Locker, Zero Dark Thirty. What was it like to work with such a legend? It's so, it's so funny because she's so humble and down to earth. Um, but at first, it was so intimidating. <laughs> I mean, and, and the, the way she works, um, she doesn't want any of us to know what we're going to be doing or to prepare anything. So we got our lines and our scenes the day of while we were shooting. So having the pressure of an Oscar award-winning director right. and wanting to, to come to the table and bring it, and you don't have a script. <laughs> you don't have uh, lines to say. And we would get it uh, the day of. So it was, it, was, it was intimidating. All right. And tell us a little bit more about your role specifically in the film. Okay. I play Morris. He is a Morris. singer in the music group The Dramatics. And they are, and I, I think you saw it a little bit in that clip right there, they are seconds away from, from their big break. They're at the Fox Theater in Detroit, which is a legendary, beautiful mm -hmm. theater. And they're about to go on stage, but then all of the chaos of, of the rebellions that were happening outside stop them from doing that, and they get pulled into all this chaos and and you get to see the ripples of what happens in this in the in the Algiers Motel mm -hmm. incident pull apart their group sort of and, and and take everyone in a different directions and you are actually a singer so you didn't have yeah. to learn to sing for this right yeah um <laughs> We, luckily, they, they let us learn so much of the music group's repertoire, the dramatics, mm -hmm. and they have so many good songs. Mm -hmm. And, and we, would, uh, we would go on set that day, so we didn't know what we were going to shoot, um, and she would be like, do one of the songs, and we'd start singing it, and then someone would run out and like, give us the choreography for that. And that was like how, how we got that scene where we were like, practicing before. This, this right is here. it, yeah. You just had to go with it. I know. So behind the scenes fact, we did three different songs in this scene right here. Okay. And we were trying to figure out which one of them fit the best. And like she ended up going with If You Haven't Got Love. Wow. Yeah. So at the time, you didn't know which one was going to be the, the... No. We didn't know which steps we were going to be doing either. Like us doing this, I think one of the cuts is like us learning the steps. <laughs> <laughs> and uh, Jacob Loudonboy, he's just like, watch your spacing, watch your spacing. Right. It's, it's hilarious. But it looks so great. Well, it, it looks like you guys had a good time on set, even though it's such a serious topic. I know that you've described this actually as a horror film in the past. Yeah. Um, it's, and it's shot so real and so visceral. Um, it's, it has a jarring effect on people, and, and, and it terrifies you. Um, there, there are... There are a lot of like jump scares in this in this film, mm -hmm. which is crazy for something so I don't know biographical, um, and I don't know uh, it's it's just speaks volumes to Catherine's shooting. Mm -hmm. She's she's powerful, and what she's able to do with this story is is moving. And what do you hope people take away from this film? 
idea, our hope of this is to a educate, to let people know about these events that that have been, I don't know, have been swept under the rug, mm -hmm. like I said before. And then second, it would be to gain empathy, mm -hmm. to gain understanding, so that people can see a how these things are happening, and how they've been happening for 50 years, and we need to bring about change. Mm -hmm. What other exciting projects do you have uh, on tap? Uh -huh. uh, I got another film coming out. I, I, I believe next year um, with Dan Gilroy as the director, uh, Denzel Washington, Colin Farrell. Um, Who? Never heard of them. Oh yeah, yeah. <laughs> I'm the I'm the important one. <laughs> um, but that film is called Roman Israel Esquire. Okay. So a lot of exciting things to look forward to from yeah. you. Thank you so much for taking the time to join Thank us early on a me. Sunday morning. It's a pleasure. And again, you can see Joseph in Detroit. It is in theaters right now. And we will be right back after a quick break.